Hello and welcome to How to Turn Your Event Fun and Profitable, the last module of Event Organizing Made Easy. Congrats on making it this far. In this module, we'll share with you tips which you can apply to your event to create a fun, fresh atmosphere and bring in profit. Let's go straight into it now. For the first half of this module, we'll be focusing on increasing the fun element of your event. People dread attending events because oftentimes, events just go through the motions. Go creative with your next event. Try shaking things up with a wild theme such as Cuban Carnival or Mardi Gras. Incorporate your theme extensively into decorations, food and beverages, performances, you name it. Have a conga line or hula dancers parade through the audience at break time. The sky's the limit. With themes, it's best to go all out or the impact will come off as tacky instead of creative. Next, try bending or breaking some common rules. Restrictions and rules are important for events to run smoothly, but there are some which are arbitrary and do not need to be in place. For example, why not do away with traditional dress codes? Get your attendees to swap out suits and ties for something more casual, or get them to dress in line with your theme. You could even hold a best dressed contest to encourage guests to dress their best. If funding allows it, prepare little bits of costume to hand to attendees when they register, such as colorful beads for Mardi Gras or flower lays for a Hawaiian themed event. We all know that technology plays a big part in the success of any event. Using technology in innovative ways can spice things up and give the audience something to talk about. Try out silent conferencing, maybe, where attendees are given headphones hooked up to the speaker's microphone or laptop. This works great in larger venues where people seated at the edge sometimes need to strain their hearing. Take it one step further and use tablets to display videos or quiz the audience. Give them things to see, touch, hear, taste, and smell for a truly unique experience. People have fun when they feel like a part of something. However, because of the traditional proscenium seating arrangement where audiences are on one side of the hall and presenters are on the other, there exists a lecture-style separation which sometimes gets in the way of the audience's enjoyment of an event. Try to bridge this physical and mental distance by spending 10 to 20% of your time in the seating aisles. Get up close and personal with the audience. You can even opt for a more inclusive seating arrangement. Arrange seats in a circle or triangle with the stage or podium being in the center. Nothing is less fun than attending an event and feeling like you don't fit in. This is why your team should be mingling with guests whenever they can and be on the lookout for wallflowers, the shy ones who keep to the edges of the room. Strike up a conversation with them and find out what they do. Let them know subtly that their attendance is appreciated and help them blend in. Introduce them to other people at your event or pair them up with other wallflowers. Also, being told no is rarely fun, so do refrain from shutting down ideas and opinions when mingling with your guests. Try your best to keep the conversation going. Especially after seminars and conferences, some audiences will want to share their ideas and thoughts. Always hear them out. It might not be fun for you to listen to a 10-minute recap of the seminar you just delivered, but your guests will appreciate your attention and affirmation. One of the best ways to make your event fun is by getting audience participation. Interactive elements add a personal touch to events. Think up games, quizzes, and contests for your audience to participate in, or have product demonstrations with the help of a volunteer audience member. These simple tools can turn a passive audience into an active, interested one. Win the lucky volunteers over even more by rewarding them for their participation with things like gift vouchers and token souvenirs. You won't be able to get everyone on stage to help with demonstrations, so be sure to also encourage lots of cheering and applause during your games and activities. It'll reduce the risk of people feeling left out. You could also get them to vote on the issues you cover in your presentation. This ties in with what was mentioned earlier regarding people wanting their opinions to be heard. One tool that can prime audiences for active participation is preparing a blank canvas or wall for guests to express themselves. Yes, we know this sounds strange, but truthfully, 
humans cannot resist a bit of sanctioned graffiti. Prepare a blank canvas or wall at the entrance of your venue for guests to leave their signature. Pen down their thoughts on the event, or just showcase their doodling skills. Just remember to keep lots of marker pens and sharpies on standby. Now that you have a few more ideas for creating a fun event, it's time to get down to the business side of things. We've covered how to sell seats to your event in a previous module, and that will be where the bulk of your profits come from, but there are other things you can do for your event to turn in extra profit. Getting sponsors is the number one way to make your event profitable. Most sponsors contribute funds that you can use to offset costs or products that you can use as gifts for contests. With sponsored products, you can make profit by listing them as prizes in a raffle. People pay a small amount to purchase numbered tickets, and at an appropriate time in the event, a random number will be selected. The holder or holders of corresponding tickets will win the prize. The best part about raffles is that all the revenue goes directly to your business. Just be sure to consult your sponsors before offering their products as raffle prizes. Another option is renting out advertising space on your publicity collaterals. Invite local businesses to buy ad space for a small fee. You can sell advertising space on your program books, tickets, flyers, even your website. Basically, any media which is accessible to your audience. However, keep in mind that you have sponsors to advertise as well and ensure that the advertisement space that you rent out does not overshadow that of your sponsors. On top of this, you can also utilize any extra floor space at your event by lending it to local businesses to set up exhibition booths or sales booths for a small percentage cut of their revenue. This, of course, has to be done tactfully as you do not want the booths to pull audience away from your main event. Also, if your event is in a commercial building such as a hotel or mall, do check with the revenue manager on their policies before making any deals with third parties. Another way to increase your profits at events is to offer exclusive promotions to your attendees. Depending on the nature of your business, consider selling discounted packages exclusively for ticket holders of your event. You could also consider offering an online discount code if you have an online store. The validity of these promotions can be either while stocks last or for only the next seven days following your event. This will motivate your attendees to make purchases before it's too late. If you have another upcoming event which is already confirmed, perhaps offer admission at discounted rates as well. This will work best if your next event ties in with the one you are currently executing. For example, if you're delivering a business seminar and the following seminar is pertaining to internet marketing, there's a strong likelihood that your audience will be interested. Speaking of tying in, see if you can strike up any tie-in promotions with a nearby cafe or restaurant. Eateries in the immediate vicinity should be interested in collaborating as long as they can see themselves benefiting from such a partnership. Put a promotion in place whereby purchasing your product could entitle your guests to a 10% off at so-and-so cafe with any purchase above a certain amount. While products and material goods are great, studies show that experiences have more value. A signed autograph from an author is great, but having a conversation with one is better. Look at ways for you and your event to build on this. You could sell slightly higher priced tickets that allow admission to an after party where ticket holders can meet and mingle with the top performers from your event. If an after party sounds like too much hassle, offer a quick backstage tour or special meet and greet privileges to guests who are willing to purchase tickets with marked up prices. If your event highlights a famous speaker or a revered author, perhaps sell premium VIP tickets, which entitle ticket holders to a private dinner with that speaker. Or instead of selling tickets, hold an auction where the highest bidder gets a one-on-one -on -one dinner with the speaker of their choosing. Your guest speakers should be agreeable to this, granted they get a cut of the ticket price or auction bid.